Yeah, just one eye, Mickey. Just uh, it's in the process before Christmas. Just uh, run, clean that, oh, get the fuel out of me, my uh, husky there and the old IT, and uh, change swapping out the fuel because it's a bit stale. Um, so really, I haven't been, I haven't been uh, uh, riding those things for a good while. Gonna have to start getting out and utilising them. I'm gonna deregister one of them. Because uh, Rego, if I'm not using it, it's become ridiculous here in Queensland. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I've still got my little brap, I'll use that because that's just what I rip around on. So I haven't decided yet uh, which one I'll deregister, the Husqvarna or the IT, but I'll probably be saying probably more the IT and keep the Husqvarna registered because uh, I'll if I sell a Husqvarna, I want to get a Suzuki DRZ 250 and just have a dual purpose bike. And then once I get that, I'll just get rid of my little brat too. And then I will um, just have my old Suzuki and my IT for your likes of your classic Conondale and just fiddle around on a few mates blocks of land, just pottering around on them because they don't really have to be registered. Well, Suzuki's not registered because it's not roadworthy. The IT's registered and it is roadworthy. But uh, as I get older, I probably... Husky's a beautiful bit of gear, but I probably want to get on a little bit of a long, longer ride. So I think that I'll probably come up with maybe a DRZ, a good DRZ with me Husqvarna and a bit of cash, or just sell the Husqvarna privately and have to put a bit of cash to the DRZ, but I want to get a half reasonable one. I was thinking about a new one, but I probably won't get a new one, so I don't do enough riding. But um, yesterday, yesterday morning, uh, heat, heat on the last previous, this week, last week, just gone. So it ended up happening. Wednesday and Thursday are extremely hot. Friday, wake up Friday morning, went to go to the toilet and then have a shower, get ready for work, and I collapsed. On the ground, could not move. Um, never ever had anything like it. Down I went, hit the wall. I just fell into the wall, slid down the wall, onto the carpet, because our bed from our from my bed to my toilet and shower is only a few meters. And so what happened then was I yelled at the car like she was sleeping out of bed because we've both been getting bad nights sleep because it's so hot. Yelled out. And, she thought, thought she didn't know what was going on at first and then when she came in, here I was on the ground, couldn't move, starkers, because I was just about to hop in the shower, go to the toilet and go to the in the shower. And um, eventually I got up, uh, I was all wobbly on my feet, like I couldn't control my movement or anything. Never had anything like that. So I went up to the hospital, she took me up to the hospital few hours I was up there, blood tests and blood pressure and ECGs and everything else, everything else come up, everything come up spotlessly, clean, good, uh, done all the tests for stroke and blah, 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 and uh, thought, oh, brilliant. As our, as our uh, medical, medical, um, medical in Australia is unbelievable, we just pay a bit into our tax and at the end of every year, it shows you how much you put in the medical. There's a Medicare level surcharge. Uh, great system. Uh, more what you hear, the American system's shit house, but anyhow, I could never whinge about our system in Australia. Uh, treat you like you're the king. And um, I suppose you do pay, oh, I've got a feeling it might be 500 or $1,000 a year into, into medical in Australia. For what I earn, I earn fifty-five thousand dollars gross, or a bit under fifty-five. And the more money you earn, the more you pay, which is only stands for reason. I don't mind paying tax; doesn't worry me at all. We've got such a good medical system, and we've got a good education system. I think so. Two most important things in life. I've said that with politicians I've talked to and everything. You've got to have good education, and you've got to have good medical. If you haven't got that in a wealthy country, you've got absolutely nothing. I don't care about roads that much because that's why I've got a GQ Nissan Patrol. I can put the hubs in if the roads get that bad. I'd want to get bloody bad if I had to do that, but um, I won't hold up anymore. Anyhow, we'll come back clean and I feel pretty good, a little bit wonky, but 
I think probably maybe it was just a big bloody anxiety hit. The uh, when I was telling my brother this morning, I consider it uh, the boogie monster that sneaks up on you um, in heaps of different ways. And I reckon yesterday was a mass attack from the boogie monster, which is anxiety. And uh, yeah, and um, maybe I'm wrong, but everything come back nice and clear as it did does all the time. So we'll say it's the anxiety boogie monster. But uh, anyhow, we're leading into Christmas. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, another birthday very shortly. Be 57 in a week and a half or so. But uh, on that note, I'll just leave it at that. And um, just Saturday playing with my toys. It's very relaxing for me. I just absolutely love it. Um, I had my old Falcon out this morning. I got her in storage, in the storage facility. Took it out because I've got to use it a bit more uh, to keep the fuel and that running through it. But um, anyhow, I'll leave it at that and uh, swan Amy out.